Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we have taken this up from the topic of sequence and series. And we are continuing our series of questions on JW Advanced. So today's question, we have taken this up from the year 2015. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, it says, SN is sum of the terms from K equal to 1 to 4 and minus 1 raised to k into k plus 1 upon 2 into k square. So we have to find some of all of these terms from 1 to 4n for this entire expression given to us. And we have been told that the values of Sn can be out of this option. So first option which is given to us 1056, 1088. Then we have been given 1120 and the last option we can do. So these are the four options given to us and this is a multiple correct answer question. So there can be more than one answer is correct for this question. So we need to figure out all the correct answers for this question. And if I talk about the question here, let's solve it. So first thing, if I take, let's say K as one, my expression becomes minus one raised to one into one plus one is two. So one into two, two upon two. So minus 1 raised to 1 into 1 square. So you get this as negative and 1 square. If I put k as 2, I get this 2 into 2 plus 1, that is 3 upon 2. So you get this minus 1 cube into 2 square. So minus 1 cube is negative and 2 square. k is equal to 3. So 3 into 3 plus 1, so 3 into 4, 12, 12 by 2, 6 into 3 square. Minus 1 raised to 6, that is your even power, so that gives you 3 square. k equal to 4, so you get this minus 1 raised to 4 into 4 plus 1, 5. So 4 into 5, 20, 20 by 2, 10 and 4 square. So that makes it positive, positive 4 into square. If I put k as 5, the expression becomes 5 into 6, 30, 30 by 2, 15, and 5 square. So it's again negative because you have odd power. If I put k as 6, you get this minus 1 raised to 6 by 2, that is 3, and 3 into 7, 51. So minus 1 raised to power power, so again negative, 6 square, k is 7, minus 1 raised to 7 into 8, 56, 56 by 2 is 28. So minus 1 raised to even power, that's positive, 7 square, k is 8, minus 1 raised to 8 into 9 upon 2, so that is 36, and so you get this again positive. So I understand the pattern that is being followed here when I put some values of k that the first twos are negative and the next two terms are positive. Again, the next two terms are negative and the next two terms are positive. So now if I try to find the sum that is your Sn with this pattern which is being followed, Sn becomes minus 1 square, minus 2 square, plus 3 square, plus 4 square minus 5 square minus 6 square plus 7 square plus 8 square. So I understand this pattern. First two terms negative, next two terms positive, next two terms negative, next two terms positive. So this is going to continue on and on till 4n. So the last four terms, if I write it, it will be 4n minus 3 square with a negative sign. Then 4n minus 2 square with a negative sign. Then you will have 4n minus 1 the whole square with a positive sign and the last term will be 4. So this will continue on and on. So this, your, this is your entire series or the sum of the entire series which is followed. Now what I can do here is I understand that there are 4 in terms in this. So if I separate the odd terms here, 
it becomes minus one square plus three square. Then you have minus five square plus seven square minus nine square plus eleven square. This continues on and on till minus four n minus three the whole square and four n minus three. Right. So we have alternate negative and positive signs for the odd terms. This is your first list and the second list is minus two square plus four square minus six square plus eight square minus ten square plus twelve square and so on. So this also continues till. Minus four n minus two the whole square, and the last term. Now, once we add four n terms in total, if I am dividing it into two lists of odd and even terms, the first list will have two n number of terms. The second list will also have. So this entire list of four n terms is divided into two lists of two n terms. So basically, every list consists of two n number of terms. Now let's solve both of these lists separately. So if I solve the first list of odd terms here, the first list of odd terms consists of minus one square plus three square minus five square plus seven square minus nine square plus eleven square. This continues to minus four n minus three square plus four. So if I solve this list, this gives me nine minus one eight. This gives me forty nine minus twenty five twenty four. This gives me one twenty one minus eighty one that is forty. This continues on and on. Four n minus one the whole square so a minus b the whole square a square minus two ab plus b square. Here you get this minus a minus b the whole square again a square. Minus two ab, so two into three, six into four, twenty four. Plus b square, that is nine. So if I'm applying negative sign with this entire bracket, if I open it, I get this signs changed. So this becomes negative, this becomes positive, and the third again. So what I understand from this is sixteen n square gets cancelled out. The last term. 24n minus 8n. So your entire list of terms becomes 8 plus 24 plus 8. This continues till 24n minus 8n plus 16n and minus 9 plus 1 that is 8. So this is your last. Now you have the sum of all the terms in this list. Now let's see. When I had two n terms in my first list. I'm using two terms at a time to solve this particular equation and get these terms. So basically, I understand that the final list which I have this this consists of n terms here. So when I have this n terms here, what I can see here is I can take out four common from this entire list. So if I take out four common, or if I let's take out eight common from this entire list, what we have here is One plus three plus five till. See here also, if I take out eight common, you get two n minus one be the last. Now, when I have to find sum of all of these terms in the list, I understand that difference between the consecutive terms is two here, and when the difference is a constant value, I get this entire list is arithmetic. So when I have this entire list in arithmetic progression, we know sum of all the terms in arithmetic progression is given by n by two post plus last. So in this list, we also know that we have n number of terms. So number of terms are still n divided by two. We have eight common. First term is one, and the last term is one and minus one gets cancelled. 2n upon 2 is left. 2 gets cancelled. You are left with 8n. So you get this first list to be 8n square, right? So if we get the sum of the first list of the terms, that becomes 2 8n square. Now let's see the sum sum of the list of second terms. That makes it minus 2 square plus 4 square minus 6 square plus 8 square. 
minus 10 square plus 12 square plus minus 4n minus 2 the whole square plus 4n now if I again take the sum of the list this gives you 16 minus 4 12 48 minus or not 48 8 square 64 64 minus 36 you get this 28 144 minus 100 you get this as 44 the last terms of list becomes 4n square plus 16n square minus a minus b the whole square so a square minus 2ab so plus 16n and minus b square because plus b square multiplied by minus sign again this terms gets cancelled out now let's solve this further so 12 plus 28 plus 44 again i can see here that i can take at least two common or let's take four common so we are left with three plus seven here also, if I'm taking out 4 common, I'm left with 4n minus 1. Okay. So we get this entire list. Again, if I see this difference between the consecutive terms is 4 here, that's your arithmetic progression. That is given by 4. Number of terms are n by 2. First term is 3. Last term is 4n minus 1. So your sum of the terms of arithmetic progression becomes 2n and this becomes 4n plus 2. So if I see here, I get this 4n plus 2. Let's solve this for me. So I understand this 2 also if I take out common from this list. We are getting 4n and here what is left is 2n plus 2. Now, once we get the sum of both the lists here, let's try to find out the total sum that is your SN. That is given by sum of odd terms that was 10 square plus sum of even terms that was 4n. From both of these lists, if I take out 4n common, here you are left with 2n. Here you are left with so you get this 4n. So sum of all the terms that was SN, which was asked to us, it comes out 4N into 4N plus 1. Now we just need to figure out which of them can be the values of SN here. So let's figure out those values of SN. So if I put, let's say, N as 5, SN becomes 4 into 5, 20. And this is 20 plus 1, so 21. That is 4. But we see that our options are given to us which are more than 1000. So to get that, we need to take a higher value of n. Let's take some higher value of n. Let's take n as 8. Sn becomes 4 into 8, that is 32. And this is 32 plus 1, this is 33. 33 into 32 becomes 1056. Right? So we get this 1056 which is the smallest answer. So I understand taking n is equal to 8 is the correct thing to do because I cannot have any value of n lesser than 8 because that will give you the values lesser than 1056. We don't have any option less than 1056 so taking n equal to 8 helps. Now if I take, let's say the consequent value of n that is 9. Sn becomes 4 into 9, 36 and 36 plus 1, 37. 37 into 36 gives me 1332. And 1332, if I see that is the highest value of the option. So that is also correct. So both of these options which are in the middle of A and B cannot be the answers here. So I get two correct answers for this question that turns out options A and B. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question which deals with some of the entire series. So we substituted first some values of K found the pattern, we wrote that pattern entirely, we took odd and even terms separately, we solved them, once we solved them we understood that a pattern of arithmetic progression is repeated in both the lists. So with the help of some of the terms in arithmetic progression with this formula, we got both of the sums for even and odd terms 
and we just combine them to get SN, which is product of 4N and 4N. Then we just had to substitute some values of N and we got some of N terms as 1056 and 1332 as the correct answers that gave us options B and D. So these are the two correct answers for this question. I'll meet you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWD advanced. So stay tuned for those videos to rule out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWD advanced. So they can also take the benefit from this question which we are solving every day. All the best for your JWE advanced exams also. Thank you. Thank you.